Do you want to bend guitar strings with emotion and finesse like a professional? Let me show you how. First trick, the ring finger is the center of the bending universe. You want to use other fingers on the same string behind it, each basically on their own fret, to give you power and sustain for your vibrato and for holding these bent notes. No matter where you are, when you're doing these bends, and even if sometimes your scale would bring you an extra note out of the way of where those three are sitting, you still want to use that ring finger bend for most of your bends. Now there's other occasions where you can use other fingers. For example, let's look at how I might put this ring finger on the 15th fret in E minor pentatonic. And I might use this middle finger on the 14th fret. Even for a bend, I'm going to use that middle finger. Now the thing about using these fingers and not using the pinky is that you can reach underneath the bent note with the pinky and with other fingers to make other things happen. Like check this out. So I've got that pinky underneath the bent second string note. You can do chords and stuff with that. So that's another reason. Now check this out. I got this middle finger here. I'm going to bend this same note. Now I can put this other finger here. I got this pinky free. Check this out. Another thing for your bends is you want to get your finger stretching going. So you want to be able to reach that extra amount. For more on finger stretching, go here. Another important thing with bends is to bend to the pitch that you're trying to bend to. So one of the ways to practice that, say if I'm going to bend this 7th fret of the G string again, that ninth fret is the note I'm trying to bend to. So if you play that note and get it in your ear before you try to bend, can help you get used to hitting the correct pitch. Now what I'm trying to do when I do a bend is I try to go right to that note. Then I want to give it some vibrato. So I don't like go wildly with the vibrato trying to get near the note. I try to get right to the note. Then I can give it some vibrato and kind of basically shake equal amounts on e either side of that pitch. Now another thing you can do is instead of the ninth fret here to bend the seventh to the sound of that, you can also use this fifth fret on the B string, the second string. That's the same note, an E note. Now you can use those together to create that unison bend. That's another way to get practice on getting this finger to get the correct bend because you can really hear that wave. When you get there, you know. Same thing with something like that. All right, well, I hope this has helped you with your bends. Any questions, hit me up. Like and subscribe. Thanks a lot. I'm Damon Wood. We'll see you next time.